Hi, I'm Brian Preer, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is solutions. You'll be working with solutions a lot in chemistry. More than just solutions to problems, you'll be working with solutions in the labs. There are two main parts to one of those kinds of solutions. Your solute, what you're dissolving, and your solvent, what you're dissolving it into. For instance, salt and water. Salt is what you're dissolving. It's your solute, and water is what you're putting it into, a solvent. Now that particular combination results in something called an electrolyte solution. Whenever you dissolve ions in water, you get one of these. These solutions will conduct electricity because they've got charged particles in them, the ions. If you dissolve something that wasn't charged, like sugar, it wouldn't be able to conduct electricity at all. Whatever you do to a dissolution, what happens is the boiling point of your solvent goes up and the freezing point goes down. As with water, your boiling point might go up to 105 degrees Celsius and your freezing point might decrease to maybe negative 2. This is described by the equation delta T equals KMI. Delta T is your change in either your boiling or freezing point. For boiling points, add delta T. For freezing points, subtract it. K is just a constant. It changes depending on what your solvent is. It'll be different from water and sucrose. You're generally given K. M is the moles of your solute what you're putting in, and I is the moles of dissolved particles. You might think M and I are the same. Well, not in all cases. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you're dissolving salt in water, like up there. You're given three moles of NaCl, and you want to put that into water. You're given a K. It, for this equation, let's just say your K is 2. That's probably not the right one for water, but this is just a demonstration. And lastly, I. I is your moles of dissolved particles. Well, you might just think, oh, three moles of sodium chloride. Three moles. Well, not exactly. Sodium chloride, NaCl, is ionic. When you dissolve it in water, it'll split up into ions, Na plus and Cl minus. So actually, for every one mole of sodium chloride, you'll have one mole of sodium and one mole of chloride, two moles total. So in this case, you need to multiply your three moles by two for a total of six moles under I. KMI, that's just multiplication. So to solve this, two times three is six, and six times six is thirty-six. So your delta T is thirty-six degrees Celsius. How do you apply this? Well, your boiling point for water is a hundred degrees Celsius. Add your delta T, and you get hundred thirty-six degrees. Your freezing point is zero degrees. This time, subtract your thirty-six, and you get negative 36 degrees Celsius. And then you're done. To recap, the two parts of the solution are your solute and solvent. Your solute is what is dissolved, and your solvent is what it goes into. When you dissolve ions into water, you create an electrolyte solution. These conduct electricity because of the presence of the charged particles. When you do a dissolution, your boiling point of the solvent will increase, and your freezing point will decrease. To find exactly how much, use the equation delta T equals KMI. Add delta T to your boiling point and subtract it from your freezing point. K will change depending on what your solvent is, but you'll generally be the given K. M is the moles of your solute, and I is the moles of dissolved particles, which is not always the same as M. Okay, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Freer. See you next time.